Hi students and welcome back to bankexamstay.com and this is our second video lecture in the 5 minutes vocabulary day 2. So uh, basically as you know we are going to learn 5 new words in this video and without wasting any minute I am going to start the video and the very first word we have here is plausible. Plausible is another name if you can say if you want to remember it just remember it with the word possible possible and plausible both are both represent something that can be imagined okay so you uh, are given a proposal by someone so you, you see whether it is possible or not okay so the proposal should be reasonable or believable that is plausible for example you get a proposal of making a, a shopping mall in a rural area so do you think it is a good idea it is a reasonable idea to open a shopping mall in a rural area so you see the plausibility you see whether it is plausible whether it is possible or not okay so plausible is something that is reasonable that you that can happen or that can be believed so the synonyms are credible that can be trusted reasonable believable then feasible probable tenable and then possible so these are the synonyms for the antonyms we have impossible plausible is something that is possible so the antonym of it is impossible inconceivable irrational something that is beyond rationality unbelievable for example your business proposal would be plausible it can be reasonable if you actually had five million dollars in the bank without money thinking of setting up a shopping mall or opening a new shop that is not plausible okay so you need money to make your plans plausible that your plan seems reasonable then the second word is disdain disdain is a word when we look down upon someone that this person is not worthy of my respect that is disdain the feeling we have for someone or something that this thing or this person does not deserve my respect so we look down upon them like this okay I don't like you at all and we have a feeling of contempt or disrespect for that person so disdain is another word for disrespect so the synonyms are contempt scorn derision disrespect be little or undervalue moving forward for the antonyms that is admiration when you don't like someone and you like someone you are admiring that person you are respecting you praise them or you approve their personality that okay this person is nice or this thing is acceptable you prove it for example when the politician attacked the separation of church and state he showed a clear disdain for the consti constitution it means he did not like the idea of separating church and the state so he think that the decision is not worthy of one's respect or one's value or approval the third word we have is unpalatable palatable is something that you like to eat something that is easy to accept or admit and unpalatable is the opposite you don't like to accept the fact you don't like to taste it that is unpalatable so unpalatable that you have difficulty of accepting it can be a decision it can be a person's proposal it can be a job offer anything that you cannot accept that is unpalatable so the synonyms are uninviting that you don't like to be invited unappealing that does not appeal you at all distressing lamentable repugnant and offensive and the antonyms are palatable tasty pleasant because you like it it is very pleasant acceptable you can accept it you can digest something appetizing that 
increases your hunger. Okay, so the example is his reasons were good, but his offensive style of argument rendered them unpalatable. It means all the reasons he put forth were good, but unpalatable, unacceptable, offensive style of arguing made them unpalatable. Okay, so the style he used for argument was unacceptable. Then the next word is tussle. Tussle. Have you seen the tug of war? What do we do in this game? We try to just drag the other side to our side. It means we are trying to achieve something. So tussle is vigorous. Vigorous that needs a lot of strength. Vigorous struggle or scuffle to obtain or achieve something. When you are struggling to get something, that is your tussle. So the synonyms are fight because you are fighting to get something. Struggle, scrimmage, scramble, grapple, wrestle. Wrestle, you are fighting to get something. And clash. Clash of clans, all the clans are clashing to achieve the place of the king. Or to get the power, that is tussle. Then antonyms are agreement. Skip, drop the idea of fighting and just make the peace and harmony. Let's make an agreement. End the struggle. Then you calm, retreat. You step back. You surrender. You truce. Truce is making a pact with the other party. So the example of struggle. Uh, the example of tussle is there was a legal tussle over the closure of the hospital. It means hospital was going to be closed and people were having legal struggle to save it. Clear? And then the last word of today is reclusive. You have heard the word inclusive, inclusive of all taxes. What does it mean? It means it includes all the taxes. But when you say reclusive, it means you are avoiding everything. Like this lady or this woman is standing without any other person in the company. Maybe she does not like the company of people, or she likes to avoid people. Anything can be the reason. But she is reclusive. Reclusive. She is avoiding the company of other people. She is. She likes to be solitary, secluded, away from everything, isolated. Isolated when you have nobody around. Hermit-like, cloistered. Okay, and the antonyms are companion-able that you like to accompany. Convivial. Convivial is very friendly or like to meet with new people. Amiable, genial. Congenial, cordial, and hospitable. All these are the synonym. All these are the antonyms of reclusive. In the example, she had been living a reclusive life in Los Angeles since her marriage broke up. It means after her divorce or after her marriage broke up, she has been living, avoiding all the company of people in a very secluded manner, away from everything. Okay. So this is about today's video and I thank you for watching this video. If you like it, you can subscribe to our channel. You can like this video, give, it, give us a thumbs up. Okay, and then you can share this video with your friends and family members if you want them to build their vocabulary. And you can download the PDF in the description box. If you have any query regarding your English section, just drop an email here. And I will be happy to help you. My name is Insia and I will see you in the next video. Have a good day.